Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Steam doesn't recognize your PS4 or PS5 controller in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use Device Manager. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here in the device manager window make sure to expand sound video and game controllers and then simply try to look for your PS controller, in my case it's wireless controller. What you have to do now is right click on it and select the properties option. Now make sure to click on the driver tab and in here as you can see you have plenty of options to play with. First of all you have to try to update the driver, in this case you will update the driver to the latest version and then you can check if the problem still persists, otherwise you can also uninstall the device. By uninstalling the device once you restart your PC the drivers will be automatically reinstalled and then again you can check if the problem is solved. Moving on, if you have a wireless PlayStation controller, what you can do is check the Bluetooth settings. So to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Bluetooth and then select the Bluetooth and other devices settings. First of all, make sure to turn on Bluetooth and then click on the blue Add Device button. Now in here, select the first option which is Bluetooth and then make sure to wait until your device will show up. Afterwards, click on it and pair up with it. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to recover the Steam controller firmware. To do this, open up your Steam application and in here make sure to click on Steam in the top left corner and select the settings option. Now in here on the left pane, click on controller and then on the right side, select the general controller settings button. Now the last thing you have to do in here is make sure to click on the recover Steam controller firmware. Now the last thing you have to do is simply confirm by pressing on OK and then wait until Steam will recover the firmware for your controller. And you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.